Despite having to compete with new emerging markets in the tourism industry, the Caribbean is projected to surpass last year's visitor arrival numbers. Chairman of the Caribbean Tourism Organization Richard Sini said in 2016 the region will see 30 million visitors. He said that this compares favorably to last year's figure of 28.7 million. Mr. Seeley was addressing over 400 delegates at this year's opening ceremony of the Caribbean Tourism Organization State of the Industry Conference, held at the Hilton Resort in Barbados Wednesday. However, he also said the future of Caribbean tourism, though promising, is still susceptible to external shocks. Eight and a half years ago, when the late David Thompson invited me to be in his cabinet, there was... No such thing as Airbnb. There was no such thing as Uber. Uh, Brexit um, also did not exist. And Cuba was an island nation in the Northern Caribbean. But now all of a sudden, these entities have entered into our lexicon. And we have to deal with these realities and come to grips with them. You're going to hear those four words quite often over the next couple of days as we discuss the state of the tourism industry. I'm not going to get into them here, but these are the realities as we define our future and drawing on our multiple strengths. The outgoing CTO chairman spoke of the achievements of the CTO, including expanding the membership and having strengthened ties with private and government agencies. Particularly in the area of health, he said the CTO will continue to work closely with Caribbean public health agencies in the wake of the Zika outbreak. And one that I probably should also mention is the one with the Caribbean Public Health Agency. It is timely, of course, because of Zika, but was just as relevant when we were dealing with chikungunya and Ebola and even dengue for that matter. And the idea is that we have to recognize the region's advantage as a place that is safe, is secure, and is healthy, and therefore we must continue to work closely with the team at CARFA as well. And I am happy to hear that that is happening. Just when we thought we had tamed the Zika beast, there's an outbreak in South Florida that is creeping down uh, the Bahamian archipelago and may once again be an issue for all of us in the Caribbean, and we need to be ahead of all of that. Following last night's official opening ceremony, Minister for Tourism Dr. Clarice Modest Cohen spoke to GBN's Colin Campbell, who's in Barbados, about her expectation of this year's conference. She said it's hoped that challenges confronting the industry can be addressed, including complications with inter-regional travel. And my first interest would be to see how we can work with LIAC to improve on the services. Um, But something has to happen. In terms of Brexit and other challenges, I think CTO provides a forum where we can discuss it, where we can seek support in dealing with it and ensuring that we are not so adversely affected that we cannot recover. The conference, which is being held under the theme Honoring Our Legacy, Defining Our Future, will conclude on Friday. Tony Julian, GBN News.